One of my goals for this year was to spend some time fishing jig streamers. I never really fished them in the past, and I know a lot of people are having success and having fun fishing them, so I figured I'd give it a try. I decided to try them out on stock fish first. I figured it would give me a chance to get a feel for casting such a heavy fly and to maybe get a feel of the action of twitching, stripping, or jigging a jig streamer. I could also get a feel for what a strike would feel like and hopefully work some kinks out before spending my time on a wild trout stream. But don't worry, if you stick around to the end, you'll get to see me pull in my first few wild trout on a jig streamer. That's my first fish on a jig streamer. He smacked that sucker. Nice brookie. Yeah. Tell me here, Brookie boy. That was nice too. Yeah. yeah. That's a stick. Yeah, I'll say. I'm enjoying it thus far. There's a, another brookie. He already threw the hook out. Don't have enough line in. It's a brownie. That's shallow. Got a fish. Shoot. What? It's just flopping around. Huh? Rainbow? Yeah, he's not as big as the ones you had. He's not? No. I can keep him if you want. He's nice, but... Nah. Come here, fishy. Oh, he got off. That was a nice brownie, too. And I'm in a tree behind me. Way up there. Thanks for that, fishy. See if I can keep this one on. I think I rushed <clears throat> rushed that last one a little bit. He wasn't quite ready and I've tried to force him. That's a nice fish. I think it's a rainbow. No, oh, he popped off too. Man. I don't know what I did wrong there. Just lost him, I guess.
Will the third time be the charm? Can I keep this fish on? He is really spazzing out. He's a nice fish. Nope, can't keep him on. Ah. <sighs> You know, this is really the first time fishing these jig streamers, so I want to put some time into learning them a little bit. And the little that I do know, that I've read and I've heard, is that fishing them on a three weight, it's kind of tough to get hook sets sometimes, because the hooks are larger than they would be on nymphs. They're not as fine point. Um, so it's harder without, with all that give in the rod, it's harder to get a good hook set. And I don't know if that's the issue for me right now, but I'm struggling to keep these fish on the hook right now. That's three in a row that got off. Can I keep this one on? Nope. Ah, my hook might be bad. I don't know. I don't have a a home with me right now. Maybe I should switch my streamer. It's four in a row. There one hit. I'm gonna switch my streamer out yet before I quit, see if I can Maybe catch something on a sharper hook. Dude, I cannot get a single one of these fish to stay on my hook. That one smoked it. Let's see if we can keep this one on for a change. Yeah, let's keep it coming this way. Not a very big fish, but can we keep one on? Yay, we did it. Little brownie. Thanks, buddy. Finally got one to stay on. This one ain't real big either, but can we land two in a row? Yeah, it's a brookie. It's a little brookie. Stay on there, fishy. Little rainbow. Already off. Come here, buddy. There we go. Come on, stay on there. They seem to really spaz out a little more on the streamer. And maybe that's part of the reason they're getting off so often, but. That's a nice fish. All right, so I'm out here today. I'm gonna be fishing for some wild trout, some wild brown trout. And my goal is to catch some on the jig streamer. So of course I was practicing on some sock fish, kind of getting a feel for it. And this might be a, a little bit of a different game, but we're going to see if we can do anything. Here we go. First cast. <laughs> First cast. Okay. 
I did struggle to keep those fish on the the stockfish on the jig streamer. We'll see how this goes here today, but looks like a half decent fish. For the first cast, I cannot complain about that whatsoever. That is incredible. <laughs> I did not expect that. I figured I'd fish probably through two riffles without a fish and switch over to some nymphs. But uh, he treated me well early on. Thanks, buddy. There you go. I don't think I got the best hook set on that one. There, fish just rose right behind me. I won't be surprised if this one pops off. Oh, it's a rainbow. Not quite what I was expecting. Oh, he popped off, like I said. <laughs> oh, well. Wasn't expecting a rainbow first thing this morning here. Another one. Hope I can keep this one on. Again, I struggled. You saw I struggled with the sock fish. I don't know if I'm rushing them too much. That's a nice fish. A really pretty fish. Oh. Come here, buddy. That fish is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, he's bright orange wow all right buddy let's get you back wow that fish is <laughs> that's one of the prettier fish i've ever caught absolutely stunning had my camera off to conserve try and conserve some battery today i'm planning to be out all day this fish took back in that little backwater right there hopefully i can keep him on i'm not sure about the hook set he's really spazzing out right now it's a decent brownie. Oh, I got him in the tail. <laughs> er, I'm not sure if he's in the tail or if he's just wrapped up in the line. Let's see here in a second. No, oh, he's in the mouth. He was just caught in the line there. That's a chunky fish right there. Now I can release him. Nice fish. He was like a decent fish. It's been a minute since I had a bite here. I uh, changed my jig streamer up to black. Let's we'll see if that makes any difference. I mean, finally got one here. I don't know if I'll keep him on or not. He's really flipping out. I'm surprised he's still hooked, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, we got him. Oh, that's a beautiful fish too. <laughs> Man, it just doesn't get old. He's posing for the perfect picture there. All right, buddy. I'll get you off. Come here. Come here. Try and get you off. There we go. Just a nice fish. Now unfortunately, once the sun kind of got up above the trees, the jig streamers stopped working so well. I stuck with them for a while just to try them out, but I stopped having any luck and I decided to switch to nymphs. I was able to land quite a few fish on nymphs before switching to dries right before dark. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that action in next week's video. Thanks for watching.